Inevitably, pornography is involved. It's so involved now, we call it a porn culture. So I guess I've been uh, now, I've begun using that term. Unless a child has been influenced by porn, this is my contention. But if the culture, if it's so ubiquitous, I mean, look at the most recent Super Bowl halftime thing with J-Lo. That used to be considered virtually, that used to be considered pornography virtually. So now it's on the halftime show. As a matter of fact, when I uh, make my different podcasts, and if I want to add graphics, pardon the pun, right? You want to add pictures, just a simple Google search. I have to be very, very careful just on a regular Google search that any kid can perform. I have to be very careful in the words I put in to just simply grab a, a picture to put it in to illustrate this. Yet we have kids that are accessing this. The predators know it. They've saturated these kids, their minds. And so there's very little shock value. And now it's in the schools as far as SOGI, sex ed. And the parents need to understand, and Alex, what you just said is so crucial, that to appreciate what really is going on with the trans movement, you have to understand what you are being sold is a marketing package that behind the scenes. There are two worlds that have converged. One is people want to make money off of your kids. And they want your kids' sex. They want to cross sexual boundaries. You have monetary predators or monetary predators and sexual predators, and they are feeding off the same carcass. And porn is the thing that softens the target, much like D-Day, how the invasion fleet pounded the, the shores with all these shells to soften it up so that the invasion could take place. So the aerial onslaught has been porn. Now kids are saying they knew they were uh, bisexual by age 11. Really, so prior to puberty, a child has a sexual thought without it being introduced from the outside? No, somebody's been preying upon this child. And mm -hmm. Alex, you mentioned the power of porn and mm -hmm. in the things that you fight and also personally, to whatever mm -hmm. extent you feel comfortable, do you want to help people understand that the trans movement and porn are inextricably t uh, intertwined? Uh, absolutely. I mean, another element that we're not even really discussing here is the hypnosissy porn. Um, so the hypnosissy porn is this whole other beast. Um, where you're actually seeing ASMR videos, um, where you're, uh, have you heard about this, this no, type of uh, pornography? I've, I've just heard of it. So fill us in, educate us. Oh, well, Here we go. Well, let me see. Um, so it's, it's something which is causing a lot of, you know, um, many, many times men fall in boys, men, um, fall into hypnosis porn addiction just by being exposed to the regular degrading, disgusting pornography that's out there. Um, there they may not even necessarily be seeking it. Uh, but then they're taken into this, this world, this underworld, um, which is called hypnosis porn. I want you to relax, lie down, and listen to my voice. As you listen to my words, just let all the muscles in your shoulders release. Each breath, you release more tension. I'm going to count you down from 10 to 0. My voice is taking you gently into a calm place. Sleeping down now with each breath. Each number that goes by, each number that goes down and down, I get up by those items, mm -hmm. by those sexy items right now. Check out, check out my little sister. 
This isn't a couple of videos here. This is the pathway to medicalization of young males. Um, Hypnosissy porn, there's 25,000 videos on Pornhub alone. It's well accepted, right? Spoken about and understood in most online circles and has gained a lot of acceptance in the world of academia. Um, so sissification and hypnosissy porn um, have been you know, named uh, which something which has led to prominent men transitioning, like Andrea Long Chu, who is a man pretending to be a woman uh, who wrote a book called Females. And um, so while there is a, a, a subset of hypnosissy porn where they fantasize about taking hormones, having surgeries, um, uh, and going through this sissification, um, if you rock up, to a Planned Parenthood and say, I'm addicted to hypnosissy porn, I want you to sissify me, or I want to have estrogen. Um, they're, they're not screening for that. They're not looking for that. Um, so so the, the addiction to all pornography is harmful, but addiction to hypnosissy porn is actually life-threatening for many people. To be kidnapped, put on hormones, drugged, restrained and used like this repeatedly being trained to be a sissy whore. That's the dream. Then, they sell you to a pimp. Uh, before the informed consent model was passed, there was a couple of safeguards that were, you know, that were likely to be, be used before somebody was full-blown addicted to hypnosissy porn. Uh, so, you know, uh, hypnosissy porn, it leads, there's a website called I Am A Sissy, uh, where there's just endless, endless, endless videos of these men who are so mentally ill.